in Inglewood, California. It's week 14 of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Cam Newton and the Los Angeles Chargers taking on Matthew Stafford and the Atlanta Falcons. Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, Wondrous SoFi Stadium here at Inglewood. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Atlanta Falcons and the Los Angeles Chargers. Charles Davis and Charles we take a look at this Charger Club entering play here they have certainly got it rolling of late winners of six in a row and it's simple two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason football week 14 of the NFL is underway this taken in about four yards deep and no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll be led out by their 32-year-old quarterback from the University of Georgia, the 12-year vet, Matthew Stafford. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly or behind closed doors he probably told his agent hey what's the deal i should have had a perfect game a check on the numbers for chubb from a week ago 17 carries 70 yards and well liked by his teammates in fact i got on good authority even though i'm not an investigative reporter that in their team meeting this week the offensive line stood up and said coach We've got to have better yardage for this guy. He's number nine in the league. He's got to be in the top three before the season. So let's run the ball. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field. And I don't think he got there. No gain there on the play. And that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Strong start by this defense. Third and short, they go with a run. Stonewalled for no gain. I played for a guy who always talked about setting tones and meeting force with force. That felt like it on that play, didn't it? And they met it in a big way and won. What a great job by the defense. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Jamal, so a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And they'll be led out by a late signee this year, their 31-year-old quarterback. It's Cam Newton. And when he's at the top of his game, you see that big smile. That's when you know everything is clicking. That means he's accurate throwing the football. They can't get him down in the run game. And his team is having a whole lot of fun. Because when they score a touchdown, some fans are going to get lucky and get the game ball. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Three brings up second and seven. Out of the gun, Newton steps away. They'll try and run it. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. That's good. We're on Newton first. able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. 
found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll try the air now with Newton. On the move to his left. Can't find it. He lost the football. It's out. have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Johnson, the ball carrier. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and Play action. It's Newton. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Kalevon Chason has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit, or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that, give him clean lanes to throw the football in order to have a better chance to win again this week. Third and long, it's Newton. He's going to float this one deep. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. They'll run on first down. Peterson. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. Second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Newton dancing. Cam fighting. He lost the football. Every week we hear talk about create turnovers, create turnovers. In particular, they wanted to force some fumbles. They got one right there. And it shows you how the game has changed over time. It used to be good enough for a guy to get a sack of a quarterback in the pocket. Now, if you come to the sidelines and you didn't knock the ball free, your coaches are upset with you. All right? So if you're a quarterback, it starts all the way back in the youth leagues. Take care of the ball. Take care of the ball. Take care of the ball. Because here come the defenders. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. A gain of four. It's now a second and draw play. Ingram now. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. A five-yard pickup on the play. And it's third down. Just beating the play clock. Stafford. Oh, a heavy rush, and down he goes. Jamie Collins in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Whenever you see a team deciding to throw the ball in third and one, as a defensive player, my mindset is we've got them now, and that's why they dialed up the blitz and got after them. But occasionally, you want to pass it on third and one. I mean, not a lot, for sure, but sometimes just to keep the defense guessing. Oh, no doubt. You want to break tendencies as you go along with the game because you don't want them to just say, oh, third and one, we know exactly what they're going to do. But in this situation, as an offensive lineman, as a running back, I want to know why I didn't get the football. 41-yard punt there with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. At their own 32-yard line. Go, 
On first down, it's Newton. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Valdez Scantling, incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. To throw again. Newton. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 16 yards on the play. And the Chargers are going to get themselves a fresh set of downs here. No score after one on EA Sports. No score. first down stepping up he's going to keep it opted to run for it the decision a good one picking up the first getting 14 yards on the scramble so an instance there of cam being cam we know he can use his legs and with that big body it's hard to get him down even if you get a clear shot on him plus he moves it a lot faster than what people think and boy does he have fun playing the game of football from Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. From the gun, here's Newton. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. It's second down and 10. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. interception I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone when you're in man all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you but when you're in zone you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball that's exactly what happened on that play so from inside the 20 here's first and 10 at the 18 the drive starts here with a carry by Ingram and not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. the gun Stafford and he's gonna go down back in his own five yard line it's a sack Joey Bosa make that now eight sacks for him on the season well if an offense is going to throw the ball in this part of the field any pass rusher will tell you that's his favorite part gets a chance to get after the quarterback it's almost like a reverse red zone they can create points using their defense and this time they take their man down Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On third down, it's Nick Chubb. And a short gain here as he gets it up, only to about the six. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Well, they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. The Falcons send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. The Chargers ready to take over. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball. Try and get things settled down a little bit. Three yards the game there, second down. 
It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. At the Falcons, 45. A shotgun snap for Newton. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Incomplete. Brings up third down and throwing on third down. Newton. He'll drop this down to Johnson underneath. And he's got this down to the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a charger first. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the... And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. AJ Epinesa. A loss of a yard on the... That's three sacks now. That's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team... They lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. <laughs> They'll fake the handoff. Now Newton. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. The third down battle won by Atlanta's defense. Solid coverage. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. Now Lutz for the field goal try. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. And this one is right down the middle. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. Chargers 3. Falcons nothing. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And the Falcons. On first and 10, Stafford. That'll be caught by the rookie, K.J. Hamler. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Atlanta. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. He was able to run free after the catch. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. A run for Nick Chubb. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the Chargers. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. 
Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Again, it's Stafford. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. To try again after the sack. Stafford, this ball complete to Rager. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage. And hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Now young Wei Koo, who of course used to kick for the Chargers, on for the field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Will knock things up here late in the first half. Well, maybe a nice psychological boost there just to get back to even with that field goal as we head towards half. Coaching 101 always says at halftime, play it like it's 0-0 on the scoreboard. Well, in this case, it's level, right? Same score each side. Just start over. Now you get the second half to play. The Charger drive about to get going. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Brings up second and 11 at the 24-yard line. So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair. Just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, let's get to some of these scores around the NFL here in a busy Week 14. We'll get started up at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly. And as they come towards halftime, it's the Eagles who have the lead in that one. Two touchdown passes there for Russell Wilson. From there, we head over to the Pacific Northwest, check on the Seahawks at home in Seattle. And it's the visiting Jets who have the lead in that one. Marvin Jones, a touchdown reception. Lastly, let's get you to Charlotte, North Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they were winners in that one as they take care of the visiting Denver Broncos. 13-10 the final score. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been as tight as we expected, all tied through one half of play. For the call of the second half, let's get it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Yeah. 
And they start the second half with Johnson. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Back to the ground. This time it's Peterson. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now Peterson. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Peterson, the ball carrier. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Sliding out of the pocket. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Raekwon Davis in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. To throw on third down. Newton out to his left. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Good coverage there holds him to just a two-yard return following a punt of 44. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blow is the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side, maybe a little gas. Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. 32 yard line. A gain of seven. And the Falcon first down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. This is Chenault on the receiving end. Stafford's and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five. Chubb. 37 yard line. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They run again on first down, Chubb. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. Again, the ball carrier. Marcus Davenport there to take him down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Second and five. They run, Chubb. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. To Nick Chubb. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. On the ground, it's Chubb. And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. He was brought down at the We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt.
Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. They'll try the air now with Stafford. Connection made with Chanel. Give him nine there on the first down completion. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Seven yards there and a first down. Seven and the Falcon first down. Now they return to the ground game. Chubb, and he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Touchdown. And Nick Chubb with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Falcons have taken the lead. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Koo able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is now 10-3. to three. Chargers 3. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. They fake the give. Newton. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. At the 44-yard line. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now a first down throw for Newton. Being chased out left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Raekwon Davis in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Another try after the first down sack. Newton has got Hooper on the short connection. The reception good for seven. It's third down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up third and eight. Now Newton. Drops incomplete as he got as he was throwing it. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Here's Britton Colquitt now as he'll kick it away for the second time. They'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. At their own Falcons offense making their way onto the field. Let's take a look at the playoff picture coming into the weekend in the NFC. And for the moment, they're sitting pretty in possession of that number two seed. But as we know, it often happens. This is all still subject to change. Uh, you're so right about that. But even though the math isn't there yet, 
think it's going to take new math for them not to make the playoffs. They're almost certainly going to be in the tournament and certainly going to be a dangerous team if you have to play against them. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. And they got to go thank the guys on D. Second down, Ingram. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. The Falcons on third down. Just one for five to this point. This time it's third and three. And it's third down. From the gun, Stafford. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. will take over with a new set of downs. L.A. set to take over again on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency. He rifles one that's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And his guys will set up shot at midfield at the 50-yard line. Scoring has really been at a premium. And, Charles, you got to tip your cap to this defense coming in here. Their offense, too, but this whole team coming in here on the road, getting a hard-fought win. I think the way that they're finishing this one up, an exclamation point on a terrific game. As you noted, hard for them to put points on the board, and they hold them down one more time and finalize things. Very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. After the interception, here's Stafford. Throw left side, going to be caught by Chenault. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 17 yards and a first down for Atlanta. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Tackled at the 25-yard line. A gain of nine. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Back to the ground. This time it's Chubb. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. To Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey, touchdown. his third touchdown now on the year. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So that drive, four plays, and the Falcons score to cap it off. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Jamal Agnew now to return it. 
And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Chargers take over first and 10. Getting set to go again here, Cam Newton marches back onto the field. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, your two scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect or near-perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. Newton on the keeper. A fumble on the And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back. But he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Chargers on third down, two for five to this point. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Newton. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Raquan Davis has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Newton, and this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off around the 41. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, that's three picks he's now thrown in this game. And I know this, the holiday season, because oh, here we are in December, giving. right? It is the season of giving. Maybe for his own sake after the game, he may have to announce that he's donating certain amounts to charity for each interception that he threw. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And I think we've got a hold here. It's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. That's on the veteran tackle, Mitchell Schwartz. <laughs> Following the penalty, Chubb. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Zach Cunningham, the leading tackler in the AFC in 2019, is there defensively. Brings up second. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. And again, it's Chubb. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Field goal. A 51-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Chargers three. So with that, you 
figure now yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down, but don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. On to the room to run at the 50. Even after that big time return, it's not looking great for them today. But if nothing else, even if the miracle doesn't happen, they can turn to this play and say, hey, we could move forward. Maybe it's a building block for the rest of the season. The Falcons defense gearing up as they take the field. And they forced four turnovers now in that last possession, most recently the interception. I'd love to be in charge of their highlight video at the end of the season, though, because this game, you could cut it into one sequence, take away, take away, take away, take away, and everyone goes home happy. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. This throw is going to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. It leads to second and 10. Throwing again. Newton. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. To Austin. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. defense CD that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one and didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there you know they had the lead and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness not in this case they were still making a play on the football and look how that one turned out they may have salted this one away now the Falcons offense they get ready to head back out here and this one all over but the shouting you might say now there's one timeout remaining defensively but probably no real need to use it here yeah the only time they would use it strictly for pride. The Falcons in victory formation as they take an aim. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever. Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Falcons, it's a very important win as they move to 9-4 now of the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, you wonder what this will do to their playoff prospects as they fall to 8-5. And, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.